philosophy and principles of the hourglass performance model originated while I was sitting in the plane on my way to the Applied Spot Psychology Conference in Salt Lake City in 2009. And I was thinking about the results of my dissertation research, which I just had conducted in that period. In my initial research, I examined the effects of emotions on golfers' behavior during competition via state-of-the-art technology, including video analysis and real-time physiological measures. I would look at the physiology of the golfers, the consistency of behavioral patterns during their routines, for example, I would look at the practice swings and strokes, the number of glances at the targets, and timing aspects, and I would look at their performance outcomes. Based on my observations of golfers in my research, I initially observed specific functional performance phases in, before and after the executions of their putts and swings. I call them functional performance phases because each phase had a distinct different function during the overall performance of the golfers. For every putt or swing execution, the golfers would continuously demonstrate the following eight functional performance phases. Recovery, information, confirmation, trust, all these phases occurred during the pre-shot routine. Then the execution of the putt or the swing would occur during the execution phase. And finally, evaluation, reorientation and recovery during the post-shot routine. The golfer would first demonstrate the recovery phase to become physically and mentally ready when initiating the pre-shot routine. During the information phase, the golfer would collect and process the information that was needed to decide what strategy to choose for the upcoming putt or swing. Then, during the confirmation phase, the golfers would step up to the ball and position themselves based on where the target was. During the trust phase, the golfers would bring their head down towards the ball before the initiation of the putt or swing execution. Then, the golfers would execute the putt or swing during the execution phase. The execution and the results would be assessed during the evaluation phase, followed by the reorientation phase, where the golfers would step away, they would establish some kind of closure, and they would move on to the next shot situation. And then finally, the recovery phase was often used for maintaining or re-establishing a healthy physical and mental balance between the shots.